but we wish the learners success in the examinations. Moving on, Kenyan's attention has been drawn to the disturbing patterns of abductions and murder cases reported to the police in the past two months. According to DCI, a comparative analysis of murder cases reported between August and October for the years 2022 to 2024 indicates a slight increase. As our reporter Vera Mora details, abduction and cases have also been reported in the country for the last four months since the Gen Z protests with activist Boniface Mwangi's case being the latest. Activist Bonfest Mwangi was on Sunday morning abducted from his home in the full view of his children. According to CCTV footage, five men and a lady entered Mwangi's compound. A few moments later, they finally got in. The activist will later leave his compound in the company of the civilian dressed five men and a lady. Later, his family finds out he has been booked at Kamkunji police station under the charge of incitement to violence. Um, we've just been informed that they are planning to charge him with incitement to violence. It has, it has been booked, but there's no charge sheet yet. Um, they're, not, they're not giving us any way forward on cash bail, free bond, or whatever it is, and that is why we are camping here, because we want to make sure that whatever happens, it happens in accordance to the law. The family says his arrest could be because of the post he made online and previous incidents of him criticizing the government. If they cannot operate within the constitution, then we are living in very dangerous times. Even if it was the Occupy Stunch at Marathon, it was very clear what Bonnie said and put out there. That people should wear flags, people should chant, people should observe the, the regulations that have been laid by the Stunch at Marathon organizers and just do the run and just acknowledge that people are being killed ruthlessly in this country. If Boniface was being paid for anything, isn't that money being sent to his phone or isn't that money being sent to his account? Where is that money coming from? Money you can trace. How this government should be able and can trace that money. But because these are lies and they know it, that's why they have no proof. That's why they have not even arrested him and put him in jail because those claims are bogus. Human rights activist Hussein Khalid says... Mwangi's arrest will not stop them from being vocal and criticizing the government of the day. The Occupy Stanchet Marathon was a very clear exercise to condemn femicide in this country. And we want to assure the government that every opportunity we will get to speak about the atrocities in this country, we shall use those opportunities. So let them be ready, let them be prepared to arrest all of us because any opportunity that comes up, for us to communicate our dissatisfaction with the way things are going, we shall use that opportunity. Detectives are said to have recorded a statement from Mwangi later in the afternoon. On the other hand, the DCI issued a statement indicating that in the month of October 2024, a number of cases are under investigations with the DCI, including the murder of a family of three, namely the Habo Daoud Saeed, 38-year-old, Amina Abdurashid Dahir, 22-year-old and Nasuyab Abdi Mohammed, 13 years old. Their bodies with stab wounds were discovered on October 22, 2024 at around 6 a.m. at different locations after they went missing the previous night from their home in East Lee Estate, Nairobi. <laughs> That of Willis Onyango Oyeko, 52-year-old, a Wells Fargo employee, whose partially decomposed body was found in Mungowere Stream in Huisero Subcounty, was initially reported missing at Siaya Police Station on October 21, 2024. Also, the case of a body suspected to be that of the MCA Honorable Yusuf Hussein, member for Delaware, Wajia County, who went missing on September 13, 2024 in Makadara, Nairobi, was found floating at Lake Yahud in Wajia East Subcounty on October 20th, 2024. According to DCI, in 2024, a total of 339 murder cases have so far been recorded, compared to 336 cases in 2023 and 341 cases in 2022, respectively. Vera, Mora, KT News. Nairobi.
How the increase in abduction cases has become a worrying trend and that's why we ask you tonight on our big queue why do you think there is an increase in cases of abductions in the country tell us why you think there is an increase in cases of abductions in the country you can use our toll-free number 22151 or use x at ashley missouri at kt news ke the hashtag to use is checkpoint and i'll be getting to your feedback as we proceed now, President 